Back to the ridge. Keep watch. Dad, we shouldn't be doing this. Do as I say. All right. Your brother needs a little stiffening in his spine. Go with him. Go and help me here. Dad, Nuke's still young. Shut your jaw. I'd be in time to stop you from that. Did you just happen to be riding by? No, Thor, I followed you after you and your father left the cattlemen's meeting in town. I've suspected for some time that you were the ones poisoning the Indians' water hold. Then you should have joined us before this. Joined you? Sigurd, it's not only the Indians' cattle you're killing. Think of the people. You still don't understand, do you? You are still a newcomer. Face the facts, Sigurd. You face them. I was the first settler here. I found the wilderness, opened it up for you and others like you. And I tell you again, nobody's making a reservation out of it. You can't stop it now, Sigrid. You never filed on the land. Sad. Where would I file? In town? There was no town. I was busy. Building a home, raising a family. Fighting this land. And this is my land. I have a wife and two babies buried over that hill. So don't you ask me to face the facts. The Indians have wives and babies, too. To argue with you is useless. The Indians must go, one way or another. What do you want me to do? Find a new wilderness? <clears throat> I want the land I settled on. No, Yota. Indian agent ask only we find out who poisoned our water. They try to kill me. I kill them.
got the Indians? Yeah, I came close to shaking hands with one of them. That white squaw. You carry me. Fast, Yota. We find poisoners. Good. And shot at them. I told you not to shoot. Yes, you tell us. But you speak from dead guts, Yellow Elk. Does Indian agent speak from dead guts? How he defend us if you shoot whites? Time for talk, all gone. How we live if we not defend our land? All our cattle dead. Only one good water hole left. Killing not help now. No kill. How you know? You shoot. I think white man only wounded. He move after he fell and speak to other men. What white man? Not know which one. Very dark. Many men. You spoil chance to get meat tomorrow. How? We have no money. We have no friends. We have eyes. This afternoon, from High Hill, see many cattle. Three white men move cattle. I wait till night, but no chance run off. Even one. What good one cattle? Tonight, we take all we want. This not the way, Yota. There is no other way. Our people hungry. I listen to counsel of old squaws no longer. Get me fresh horse. Get three horse. Why, old man? I go with you. Give old man one more chance to help. When you're ready to leave, meet here. All right. Now maybe this right time to tell. Maybe this only way left. Come with me. time I tell you promise, I give your father. Yes, but you never say his name. Long time ago, I promise not to give name. We make bargain. Your father never forget. Some way, sent money. Many, many years, money come. Why did you not tell me this before? I make promise. Also, I afraid lose you. Over two thousand. Over two thousand dollars. But I. You have kept secret well, Yellow Elk. We have needed money so much. Tell me, how did it come? When we in Black Hills, your father bring to me. When we come here, Indian agent bring. I keep for you. Mr. Purvis, then he must know my father. Agent know nothing. Just get letter with money. Let us say, bring money to me. Let us say, I know everything. That's all. Your father say, give you money when you want take husband. You not want take husband. Now I think better reason, give money. You buy cattle, not let Yota make more trouble. You save our people. I would like that. Yellow Elk, we are ready. Better Yota not take gun this time. I think when he sees we can now buy cattle, not steal them, he will leave his gun behind. Yota, stubborn man. Yes. He will have many questions. You must tell him of my father. Yes, but I not give name. Someday, Yellow Elk, tell me. Yes. When right time come. Was fast on the draw, always cheated the law. 
But he ran into danger. He trusted a stranger. Got plucked in the head. And now the kid's dead. That's about Billy the Kid. But last week you told me it was about Jesse James. No, I didn't. Now, one of these days, I'm going to recollect the rest of them boys where it comes right out and gives the, the kid's real name. That's the day I'm going to buy you a new hat. Don't forget, size seven and a quarter. I told you to stay up front, Joe. Somebody's riding in on our flank. Slack off. Listen, if we're near that bottle of town, them Indians will be Sioux. Came down here from the Black Hills of Dakota. They caused a lot of trouble up there. Yeah, that trouble's all over. The Army won't even allow them to have rifles. Yeah, I'll bet Custer said the same thing. You are taking cattle to market? That's a fact. The Cheyenne. My name's Bob Garth. I am Iteowani. Iteowani. What's that mean? Girl who sing to moon. Pretty? If you could save drive to Cheyenne, would you sell here? To you? To us. We have $2,000. <laughs> well, it'd take a little more than that. More about like 4000 Maybe you sell us half. No, that, that wouldn't save me the trip to Cheyenne. I'm sorry. If I get some money, all, if I get 4,000. You cannot. Can you? Don't listen to him, Bob. Where would Indians get so much money? We do not steal it. Turn back, herd to town. That way, four or five mile. We go now, get more money. Meet in big saloon, maybe two hour. You'd only be taking this whole herd on a wild goose chase. Why not? We can bind the deal here. Bartlett's a lot closer than Cheyenne. You got any cash with you? You give us receipt? See? Why trust them? They won't trust you. I got a bill of sale here I plan to use in Cheyenne. We'll, uh, just receipt it for a down payment. If that ain't all counterfeit, I'm a horn toad. Why don't you make him pay in gold? I'll give you a chance to get the rest of the money. I'll meet you at the saloon in town. Well, you ain't the first man to lose his head over an Indian squaw. However, she was prettier than a spotted pup under yellow wagon, wasn't she? Prettier than two spotted pups. Come on, let's get the herd turned around. Ha! Getting tired of all this waiting. We've done our part. We brought Arnold home. He's hurt bad. Should have minded his own business. Let's see if they got some more coffee. When are we going home? I think this is a wake or something. Uh, maybe it is. The doc is still in the bedroom. You don't know if that'll make it. There you are, Thad. This fresh compress ought to help a lot. You're not fooling any tenderfoot, Doc. You can't keep me in the game much longer. Dad, don't talk like that. Doc's done all he can, honey. Ask Sigurd to come in, daughter. You go on home. Get some sleep. You look worn out. Dad wants to see you, Sigrun. He's all right. Close the 
the door, Sigurd. Don't worry about anything, Dad. I keep an eye on your place. You'll be up soon. Not a chance, Sigurd. Sigurd, we've had our arguments about the Indians. Never on anything else. You're a strong family man. I need your help. I want you to hear something that means a lot to me. Bear witness to my last wish. Carrie, on the second shelf, that book, Morgan's Cavalry Tactics. Get it. Page 99. My last will and testament. Read it, Kirk. Read it. Listen carefully, Sigurd. I, Thaddeus Arnold, being of sound mind and body, do bequeath half my estate to Carrie Arnold, my youngest daughter. Hear, hear, hear that secret. Hear that. My youngest daughter. The other half I will to my eldest daughter, whose name is Iteowani. She lives with a Sioux tribe under the protection of Yellow Elk. I made that will out a long time ago. Iteowani, this white squaw. Dead. It's a short story. Some of it happy. Over 20 years ago, I was in the army. Stationed in the Black Hills. There was a pretty Indian girl, sister of Yellow Elk. We fell in love. That's all. There was a child. A girl. Still a baby when I was mustered out. I left her with the Indians. Mother's brother, Yellow Elk. He was the only one who knew about me. That's why you have been for them. Defended them. I owed a big debt, Sigurd. I was ashamed of being called a squaw man. I moved west. Met and married Carrie's mother. She never knew about the Indian baby. Carrie, when your mother died, I had to come here. To be near her. To be near that half-breed. To be near your sister. I knew how hard it would be on her among the whites. She was probably the one who shot you. We're Indians. Never very well understood. Always in trouble. Man's conscience never dies. I wanted, I, I thought if I could help her. I, Never die. Wish the old boy would make up his mind and let us go home. This is something to learn on a man's deathbed. How could he keep it from me all this time? Maybe it is good that it is still a secret. You have got to think of the living, Carrie. You have a big stake here now. Everything you own, just like the rest of us. You're not going to give half of it to an ignorant squaw, are you? Does she deserve anything from you? I, I can't think. What is there to think about? Dad called her my sister. Did he? Who heard him? I did. I didn't. Where is your pride? You want a squaw man for a father? Listen to me, Kelly. That girl is just another Indian to you. Remember that. Just another Indian. Yes. She's just another Indian to me. You should hate her. Killing your father. 
We're not sure she did. I am sure. I was there. I saw her. She was with the other Indians. They have taken my land. They are out there now, living on it. Planned, I plowed, worked the nurse since I came here. I was pushed out for them. But they have taken a lot more from you. They have taken Thad. If you give that squaw half of everything you own, the Indians will have enough cattle and water to push us further away. They will be able to stay on. There will be more fighting. More men like your father killed. No, it isn't right. It isn't right. Nobody else knows about this will. Do you think I would ever tell? Are you giving me your word? I am giving you my oath. Nobody else will ever know. We wait here. It is big house, end of road. Your father, Thad Arnold, know you. Watch you many day. You think he see me? Your father good to all Indian. You tell him our trouble. You ask him, forgive Yellow Elk for break promise. Better I go, too. Better she go alone. Woman no good alone. Yellow Elk, talk like old woman. I go with you. No. You bring money to me. I go saloon. I go. I told man I meet him. I no like way man look at you. All over he look. You look. Same way. I good for you. Swanson man, cattle man, all bad for you. You think your no good? You think me too much Indian for white squaw? You wait here. When I come back, we talk. I grow tired waiting. We talk later. How is he? He's dead. Yeah. He made up his mind. I would like to see Thad Arnold. This is nerve for you. What do you want here? I have right to be here. What right? You do not know? I don't know what you mean, but I'm sure you can understand me. Get out of this house. Not before I see my father. Your what? My father. Your father? Thad? No. Shut your mouth. Where is he? On his deathbed, where you put him. He was man-shot? You should know. Now leave him alone. How can you say that? It's your work. My work. She can't even deny it. I do deny it. This not happened but for you and your sons, trying to poison all my people. 
You are lying. Will you go? Will you get out of this house? You may hate me, order me out, but you cannot deny that we have seen Father. What was that all about? Just some Indian lie, some scheme to get out of any blame for Thad's death. I want you to forget it, understand? Forget you ever saw her here, all of you. Eric. Eric, you following that girl? Girls are scarce around here. Half-breeds aren't. No son of mine be squaw, man. Go back inside. Now! Itaewani. Don't blame me for what my father does. I've seen you around town several times. I'd like to help you. Help me? What can you do? Whatever Thad could have done. You know, all that talk about Thad being your father isn't going to get you anything with him dead. Why don't you tell me what you really wanted from him? White man's help. Could be me. I do not think so. You are Swanson. Try me. My people need cattle. There's herd for sale outside town. I need $2,000. $2,000? That is why I came to my father. You drop that phony father talk. Don't blame me for stupid. Supposing... Just supposing I got you the money. How? Well, we're not exactly a poor family. What would I get for it? We are trying to buy cattle. What are you trying to buy? You want to borrow, don't you? And you have thought of how I pay back? Yeah. Why you not stay with Yellow Elk? This make more trouble. He touch you again. I kill him. Could you not do it this time? He only unconscious. I hear that Arnold man dead. When I shoot, I don't know he your father. Where you go? Indian agent. Maybe he talked to Goth to sell half his cattle to us. I stay here. No. You go back to reservation with Yellow Elk. Is this nerve or just plain dumb? Riding in like nothing happened last night. Well, Sheriff, you gonna let her get away with it, or can we take a pot shot at her? You men witness any wrong she did, or have you just got big ears? Ain't you gonna lock her up? Ask the man next door. Purvis! Ed Purvis! Better get the girl out of town. The feeling around here is ugly against any Indian. I need help. That's what I'm here for. Maybe you'd better come inside. Who runs this man's town? The Indian agent or the sheriff? Oh, ain't you heard? The Indians run it. They go around shooting people off of street corners and they get a free cigar. You better make yourself scarce before I start a little shooting practice on my own. town is upset after last night. Antagonizing them now will only make it worse. Worse? How can that be? Last time I come to town, they not sell me food. Have we no rights? Are not Indians human beings? Some whites don't think so. I had hoped maybe things would cool off, but shooting Fat Arnold wasn't the answer. We did only what you asked. Tried to find poisonous. With bullets? Besides, after my talk with Thad, I don't believe he poisoned the water. No, the Swansons. Well, they'll deny it. We see them. 
Maybe before the shooting, your word might have meant something. But not now. Rivers, I want this squaw put in jail. We found Eric with his head half knocked off. <laughs> she did it? <laughs> Don't laugh. There is something else. Sad Arnold just died. Now, how about some action? Well, you have no proof that she shot him. She was there. At the water hole. So were you. Poisoning the water. Who says so? She does. You believe her? Well, of course. You saw her, she saw you. You just said she was there. And I just said that that Arnold is dead. Now, it's your job to turn this one over to the sheriff so she won't shoot anybody else or talk you out of money for the cattle. If you don't do what? this... cattle? Eric. There's a herd outside of town. She's got some wild idea about buying it. With what? That is why I come to you. I have only $2,000. $2,000? Where would Indians get such an amount of money unless they stole it before you brought him down here? That is not true. You know of money. Sometimes you bring to Yellow Elk. What does that mean? It's none of your business, Sigrod. But the money legitimately belongs to the girl. I thought if you talked to Cattleman to sell us half his herd, it would help. He refused me. Don't waste your time. That herd is halfway to Cheyenne by now. No, they're not far from here. Man promised to wait. We meet at Saloon for my answer. Please, Mr. Purvis, talk to him. I'll do what I can. You go along and uh, hold him there. I'll be along in a few minutes. Wait a minute. Sigrod, this is your last warning. You've got to leave these Indians alone. Now, it's not me you're bucking. Washington will get all of this in my report, including the girl's accusation that you are the poisoner. Washington is too far away to run this town. But as long as you're writing, just add another line to your report. Tell the government to send a new man down here. We are going to need him. This one is talking himself into a long pine box. Find that herd. You know what to do. You're not coming? I take care of that cattle man. I'm sorry, miss. The deal's no good. You'll have to count me out. Please take money we have for, for a quarter of the herd. That is double the price for each steer. You must really want them, huh? If you live here, you know. We cannot live on grass. Oh, it can't be that bad. They do not want Indians here. Last night, they poisoned our water. Who poisoned your water? A stranger can ask too many questions in this town. You run it? Maybe. Enough to tell you, you are not selling any cattle to this half-breed. Thanks. Thanks for making up my mind for me. Good. You got sense. You say a quarter of the herd? Sold. Cattle are about a mile and a half south of here. You can tell your people they can pick them up any time they want. You heard what I said? You are not selling cattle to these Indians. Get out of my way. I don't want to hit an old man. Old man! Cover, Pete. The last time Sigurd went wild, he still got four cowpokes, three horses.
Mr. Purvis, stop them. What is it? They fight. They fight. They go crazy. Kill him. I show you all that. No, no. Stay out of this. Sheriff, Sheriff, Sheriff. Stop it. Wait. All right, let me go, let me go. I'm through with him. Now you can run him out of town. For what? For Indian loving. Anybody here? Want to see the Indians buy cattle from this man? You want to see them take over our town? Make their own rules? Run it? The Indians are entitled to live. Not on my land. It isn't your land, it's government land. Well, a man in this town hasn't grazed his stock out there on what they call the reservation. Reserved for who? The Indian squatters? Should be reserved for the men that got here first. That's right. There's something else you people don't know. Thad Arnold died in my arms less than an hour ago. Murdered! Ambushed! I saw the Indians. I saw this half-breed brat leading them and then running away after Thad was shot. Anybody who has talked with this one is no good. That's why I want this cowherd to run out of town. Anybody who wants to help Thad's killers is as guilty as they are. You want proof? Look at her. Look at him there. You didn't give him half enough, Sigrid. Real squaw man, ain't he? Yeah, two of a kind. They'd look better riding on a rail. Yeah. yeah. She was in on the killing, all right. Maybe she's the one who fired the shot that killed Thad. You're talking too much. And you're doing too little. I'm not the Indian agent. Ed is. He won't do anything about this. Maybe write another letter to Washington. I'll go out to the reservation. I'll find out the truth. Stay there, why don't you? You're going out there to tell them what story to stick to? I wish I could tell them something that you people would stick to. I wish I could promise them something that you people in this town would keep. A chance to live in peace where your own government put them. Against their will. Well, if I could promise them that, maybe they'd turn over the real killer. Talk, talk, talk! We got the real killer right here. You call me White Squaw, but when I hear you talk, I am sorry I am not all Indian. Listen to her! Listen to this scum! Get this man on a horse. Get him and the girl out of town. I'll get our horses. He hurt bad. I take him to reservation. No. Got to get back to the herd. Tell the men what to do. We can do that later. Dead. It's Joe. Looks like every steer in Wyoming went through here. Stampede didn't put that bullet hole in his chest. Where is other man? Bill, it's a signal we use on the trail. You hit Farrell? No, my horse threw me. Where's Joe? He's over there. I was riding the hood on the far side. And Joe was off saddle making some coffee. I think there were three of those stampeders. Did you recognize any of them? No, they were too far away. They turned the cattle and ran them through camp. Yeah, I heard some shots. He shot Joe. Bad? He's dead. But his gun's empty. I'd be like Joe to go down shooting. <laughs> Just thinking him and I were going on a big drunk up in Cheyenne. Is that all this man's death means to you? Well, I ain't crying about it. Besides, Joe's a lot better off than I am right now. 
And nobody's gonna make me change my sentiments. How'd you get up here? I hadn't followed him a quarter of a mile when the horse threw me. By the time I got him back, the cattle were gone. Which way? West, they must be scattered for miles around the country. I'll go bring him back. You're too all in for a hard hunt like that. You come with me to reservation. When you feel better, my people help you. Yeah. Well, I want to see that Joe gets buried proper. I can pay. We'll worry about the pay later. Pharaoh, pack Joe's body back to town. I'll see you later tonight. I'll be glad to. Put your horse in my corral and give him a rest. All right. You'll be sure you get back here in one piece, too. I will take good care of him. That's what I'm afraid of. You know, he's a very lonesome man. What is the matter? Where is Catherine? Later. Help him first. Sigrad did this. Take him to my teepee. Yellow Elf. Yota, we want to talk to you. Bring hot water. I feel like a Bronx, don't we? Sigrod have bad temper. Yeah. He really, really hates you people, doesn't he? I do not know what we do now. That, uh, that Sigrod was in the saloon, so he didn't steal my cattle. Pharaoh Bill say they're three stampedes. Sigrod have three sons. Well, that's worth following up. Clear me on something else. Did you shoot that Arnold fella? No. Everybody around here seems to think you did. You were there, though. You know who fired the shot? Yes, I know. That's what Purvis and the sheriff come up here to find out. I never tell who fired shot. Never. I can swear I did not. I believe you. I am glad. <laughs> Do I look that funny? No. It is only you alone in teepee with Squaw. That have much meaning. Oh. Glad Pharaoh Bill isn't here. You say you're lonesome man. Did you not lose head over Squaw, hmm? I don't know. Never thought about it before. Maybe I should. You're very pretty. Very pretty Squaw. Not sound bad. What? When other men call me squaw, it hurt deep. When you say very pretty squaw, sound nice. But you keep on hearing it nice. Well, did you get what you came for? Nobody knows anything. Nobody talks. Not even the Ota. I feel sure the shots weren't fired without his being around. Up against the stone wall, huh? Well, the Indians say Sigrod lies about poisoning the wells, and Sigrod says the Indians lie about killing Thad. I don't know who to believe. If you really want to be caught in the mill, try running an Indian reservation. I sure wouldn't want your job. Now, I'll be out here again tomorrow for another talk. And don't you go asking for trouble. And don't come into town again until I see you. He say, cattle gone, far away. Yep, cattle gone. We not get cattle, you give money back. That's fair enough. I, I couldn't charge for beef I didn't deliver. I... You put in wallet, I see you. Wallet's gone. I must have lost it in the fight. Or oh, give to your men. I didn't give it to anybody. I know we have wallet in saloon. I better go back and see if I can find him. No! 
You wait here. Till your man come back with cattle or money. I watch. You try, leave, I shoot. Yota. I sick of lies. Sick of all white men. Oh, I can't stay here. Now it's out of the question. With Yota, no sense to argue. His word will be much law in camp. There is guard now. You have your gun. You try to run away, you only get hurt more. But your money. I gotta get your money back. Uh, that, that bartender might have... If so, he still have it. Not have much time to spend. But... Please, try not get it now. You wait till feel better. Yeah, uh, I guess so. Well? But, uh... If I'm gonna stay, uh, I shouldn't be left alone. You are right. Nuava? <laughs> Nuava, very fine nurse. But you... I come back soon. You be good patient. <laughs> no, no, I'll wave. I haven't got a headache and I'm not dying. All I need is some sleep. I put you to sleep. You know, I, I'll put you to sleep if you don't get out of this tent. <laughs> then stay out. Long enough to get back. I'll never find those cattle now. If hadn't been for the shooting, the whole thing would have gone off without a bottle. Shooting? One of the men on the herd. It was him or me. He knew you? He won't talk. Come inside. I want to talk about this. Dead. Eric's dead. Believe me, I did not. His gun is fired. Must have been someone else. There was no one no. else. Remember that. No one else. Go on. Get the sheriff. Tell him we've got the killer. One there can be no argument about this time.
Where are you, Lowell? In teepee. Talk white man. It's your wani in town, in jail. What happened? Purvis told her to stay here. She go in town, I follow, I watch. She go in alley behind saloon, I hear scream. When I go in alley, she there and Sigrid's son Eric on ground, dead. You think she killed him? She only one there. Then Sigrid come, he sure she kill him. But how? She have no gun, no knife. Where's your knife? I lose, I ride fast. Come get old Indian, go back, get her. You can't fight the whole town. We killed many white men before. We do again. No, no, make big mistake now. You better let me go talk to him. You no go. You stay. If you want to die, we kill you. That's plain stupid. You kill another white man, the whole town will be up here. They'll wipe out every Indian on this reservation. If Thad Arnold alive, he help. Thad Arnold, who's he? Fine white man. A Tiawani father. Father? A Tiawani mother. My sister. Die a long time back before we come here. Does the town know about it? A Tiawani tell Kerry Arnold. Kerry Arnold, other daughter, Thad. Ah, oh, what did she say? Uh, she very mad, say all big lie. I think I'll talk to the sheriff and Purvis about this. They might have an idea. We keep secret long time, but no proof. Nothing? Some paper. No can read. Well, let me see it. It's a will. A copy of a will made by this man Arnold. And he leaves half of everything he's got to Teowani. This is a powerful piece of paper. Now we got something to fight with. You know, take. I'll need it in town. As a white squaw, she hasn't got a chance. But as Arnold's other daughter, they'll give it a second thought. Let him go. You show Sheriff paper. Oh, and I'll have my gun back. There were three eyewitnesses. Sig Rod and his two sons. They got there a minute after she put the knife on Eric's back. Well, a minute after, huh? And nobody actually saw who did it. That's right, Gareth. It's circumstantial evidence. I'd like to talk to the girl, if I might. She hasn't said a word since we brought her in. Maybe you'd like to tell me what happened. Is that Utah's knife out there on the sheriff's desk? It's not hard to read your face. Why are you taking the blame? They'll hang you. You don't owe Yoto your life. Speak up. Tell them what happened. Why talk? No one believe me. I believe you. I know. But you cannot help me now. This can help. It's Thad Arnold's will, leaving you half of everything he owned. It's a copy, but it's good. I'll get Miss Carey to hunt for the original. She can't refuse to help her own sister. She refused. She fight it. Then we fight her. I have only known you one day. No one ever kinder to me. <laughs> well, maybe I'm like an old steer that run the brush all his life and nobody ever threw a rope on him before. Like I told you, there's his horse. I saw him go inside. What'd he be doing calling on Carrie? Maybe she's playing both ends against the middle. Uh, we find out pretty quick. I can't imagine why you thought it would make me help a murderess. It's fantastic. It's nothing but a forgery. I don't think so, Miss Arnold. I think it's about the most important piece of paper in town right now. And I'm giving it to the Indian agent to put in his safe until the trial. What were you doing in there? Ask Miss Carey. Maybe you come back for another whipping, huh? Looks like you figure it'll be a little harder this time. 
I'll whip you again, Garth. Alone. It'll be plenty soon if you don't leave this town. I'll be around. You wait here. something. Garth has a duplicate will. If it's recognized, and that girl goes free. We'll never get the Indians out of here. They get half of your property. They have cattle, money. The will had Dad's signature on it. Garth said he was going to put it in the agent's safe. Then we must get that will. There's a way. Dad was blasting stumps out of the creek bottom last month. Some of the dynamite's still in the shed out back. Let's go get it. Purvis's office is locked. Where is he? Inside, lifting a beer. Huh? Fine. Maybe I can kill two birds with one stone. Huh? Mr. Purvis, will you uh, put this in your safe? It's a will. A will? Yours? <laughs> no, it's Thad Arnold's will. It proves the Indian girl's his daughter. Thad's daughter? Why, oh, the old son of a gun. So that was it. I should have guessed it was he who was sending that money to Yellow Elk. And uh, now there's another matter, Sheriff. Suppose you had a poke full of money and uh, you got in a ruckus and some snake lifted your roll. What would you do? I'd throw him in jail. Well, suppose you couldn't prove it. <laughs> in that case, there's always a back alley. Sheriff, you mean you'd beat it out of him? Why not? He deserves it, cheating me like that. Why, if it was my best friend, I'd knock you. Thanks, Sheriff. Now, hands off. What you do with that $2,000 the Indians give me for my cattle? What $2,000? Wait a minute. You didn't mean him. Some snake stole my money, and I'm just following yours. Yeah, but I didn't mean Yes, you... you did, and you gave him the prescription. Now, wait a minute. I didn't see your old wallet. My what? Well, I didn't say anything about a wallet, but the money was in a wallet. Now, hand it over. It's working. Supposing Garth is losing. Somebody's getting killed. What's one slightly damaged bartender against uncovering a snake in this town? All right. If you don't care anything about the bartender, think all the good whiskey we're losing. I, I can't stand it. Neither can I. Let's look. You don't deserve such a beautiful death. <coughs> Honey, I never saw your money. I don't know what. All right, Doctor. Where is it? Didn't have a name on it. I just found it. How's a man supposed to know? <coughs> well, it dropped out of my pocket back here during the fight. You know whose it was. Sounds like somebody's blowing up your town. Get up front! Get up in a couple of minutes! Sam, where'd it come from? I don't know exactly. It sounded like down that way somewhere. Hurry. They're out looking around, starting to come this way. Doors jammed! It's stuck! <laughs> Where is she? 
Where's the girl? Right here yourself. The maniac's always running packs. Secret must have her. Let's get the horses. Take care of him. The horse is at the saloon. I'll catch up with you. town's out in the street and you're standing here in the parlor. Why shouldn't I? Because you're the only one I told about putting that will in the Indian agent's safe. Well, the dynamite didn't wreck it. Sigrod didn't get the will, but he did get your sister and he's liable to try and kill her. I don't know anything about it. Plain words, I think you're lying. Where's Sigrod taking her? I don't know. Well, we're going to find out. You're in on this, Miss Arnold, and we're going to see how it finishes. Get up there and ride straight for Sigrod's. And no tricks. Get in there! What are you gonna do? She murdered Eric and Tad. She's the cause of everything. I'm putting an end to it. Right here. Right now. Stop it, Dad. You'll be doing the same thing. No! Get out of here! Get away! He's after the girl. He's crazy. He'll kill her. She'd only head for one place.
save yourself. Where's the girl? In there. The girl tried to kill. Get you out of here. No. <coughs> Too late. Uh, I tell the truth now. I... I kill Fat Arnold. I kill Eric, too. Hit here one No do. No, Tom. Let's get him out of here. Tar's dead. But he confessed to both killings. Sigrid ran into fire. We couldn't stop him. Sigrid, bad man. Glad he burned. I can't blame you for that feeling, but we try not to judge the other fellow. I not that good. I am still Sioux Indian. Glad he gone. I've helped cause this. I don't know how I can ever make it up. You can start by admitting that she's your sister. Yes, that's true. You won't even need a will. Half of whatever Dad left is yours. Thank you. It means much to my people. I can buy cattle for them now. Cattle already moving here. I sent men help Pharaoh Bill bring in herd. Bob, you go help them. The sheriff and I'll stay here. Bob, I go with you. It's symbolic in a way. Burning Sigrod's hate out of this valley. We'll help you to build a new village, Yellow Elk. One that can live in peace. Those cattle remind you of that old steer I was telling you about? Steer off and stray away. Ah, not this one. That rope's right over my horns. Let us make it strong enough to hold, not tight enough to hurt. Mm -hmm. 